under the perks of being a model, you walk into any arena in life and almost a red carpet is rolled out for you. Why? You're beautiful. Once you're beautiful, people start to almost bow down to you. Perfect. Instant recognition, the almost celebrity-like status. They go to great parties, they make good money. They get to wear the best clothes in the world. They get to travel. It is a job similar to being a rock star or even a movie star. My name is George Brown and I'm an agent at Red Model Management. We are a young agency, cutting edge. We're also the best development agency in New York City, if not the world. I'm Dave Fothergill. I'm one of the agents. I do a lot of scouting. I do development and booking the models on um, any range of jobs from catalog to editorial to campaign, you name it. We're known for having the best black guys in the world. Black models in the industry face a great challenge. Less than 2% of the jobs are, are set aside specifically for ethnic minority models. You're fighting for that few spots. You're fighting for those few jobs. It goes without saying, this business is a Caucasian business. Modeling is ultra competitive. When you're online at a casting and you're going up for a job that could pay you ultimately $10,000, you don't have any friends on that line. It's an individual sport and your best friend is your agent. Wendell is fearless and super confident. Wendell has no other thought but to be the best male model. Ibrahim is one of our bigger money makers at our agency. He's not only great looking, but he is a down to earth person. He's a real guy. Sally is an outstanding new model. I mean, he's worked already with some of the top photographers in the business, and he's a rising superstar. Nelson, he's also an established model in the business. He's been doing this for a number of years, so he knows the game. Right now, he's at a pivotal point. He needs to decide where he wants to take his career. We set up a photo shoot today with Uptown Magazine. We're hoping for a great shoot. All right, guys, Uptown Magazine, we're yeah. here today to yeah. do it. It's probably eight or 10 pages, an amazing, amazing opportunity for you guys. It's gonna be based on the Rat Pack era. Sammy Davis, uh, old school. Because of the theme Rat Pack, the magazine ultimately, in the editing process, is gonna look for one guy to rise to the occasion. If you're single focused or have the singles in the editorial, clearly means you're the star. We're All really right. excited. We've got to go to the office and All do right. some work. Good. All right, we'll check in later. Good. Good. All right. Good luck, guys. Good Red luck. Rock. My name is Ibrahim Yakut Abdel Baif, and I am a veteran model. I've been modeling for the last 10 years. I'm from Philadelphia. My childhood was a, was a bit rough. I grew up in a nation of Islam, so there was a lot of um, outcast, outcasting going on between me and other kids. I um, wore a jalabi and a kufi every day. I made prayer five times a day. You know, with the glasses and the matted fro, a lot of people really wanted to hang out with me, you know what I mean? I had a lot of differences with my father. My father was definitely all about the revolution and not about, you know, raising us, so he sent me back to my mother in Philadelphia. I got in a lot of trouble after that, but I also found my, my niche in the art world. I also had the idea of doing modeling. So I ended up going to college, um, to art college, basically, at Pratt. It's one of the most esteemed art colleges in our country. Once I started going to college and taking classes, you know, I was juggling between going to classes and going to casting. And thankfully, I've been very successful in modeling, even as a younger guy at 19, 20 years old. Uh, it took me many different places. I've been in part of commercials, uh, lead principal roles in movies, in fashion shows. And basically, now that I've proved to be a great success in the modeling world, I want to introduce the fact that I'm a, a actually really talented artist and not just a pretty face. You know, sky's the limit.
My name is Wendell Lissimo. I'm 22 years old, and I've been modeling for two and a half years. Growing up in Harlem makes you stronger. You have to be strong. You have to be hard to live here. You just have to be a strong individual all around. You know, your whole aura, everything about you. I remember seeing billboards and stuff like that, like when I was younger. If there was, like, a black guy doing it, I would look and be like, man, you know, I, I look better than him. You know, I could do that. I've always looked good all my life. You know, I always had women, like, love me, like, all my life. Modeling gave me the opportunity to do things that basically 95 or, like, 98% of the people in my neighborhood will, will never do. From Hermes, Alain Bondries, uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, Dior Van Asch, uh, Terry Mugler, Paul Smith, um, just numerous, numerous shows, you know, I've done everything. I know what I've accomplished, nobody can take that away from me. I don't see any competition with me, with anybody else black that's modeling right now, that's alive. Point blank, period. Wendell, uh, he's like the only person I actually have some type of issue with. I just don't like him. He's kind of a liar. You know, he's full of caca. Whoever doesn't believe me, you can Google it. It's magazine hate, and it's campaign hate, and it's runway hate. That's all it is. You know, like I said, when you live in New York, and, and you got to be strong. I'm from the heart of the city, so I'm here. Uptown Magazine is a luxury lifestyle publication geared towards professional African Americans. We are here today working on an eight-page fashion story um, for our February-March issue. This is our Hollywood issue. We love to kind of take these old-school, like, 50s looks and then put a spin on it. The shoot today should be very interesting. I can't wait to see which one of the male models will step up and be Uptown's leading man. It's always competitive. All the guys want the female's attention. It's like, I'm the stud here. We're really excited that we partnered with Red. They seem to have like a great deal of African-American male models, which in this industry is not easy to find. So it just seemed like the perfect fit. We are the Rat Pack. We had to channel our inner Sammy Davis, Frank Sinatra, movement, so, you know, it's pretty fun. I ain't gonna do much, but you know, hey, it's neither here nor there. It's a process, like ice tea's here, you know? It just seems like Ibrahim is so there. It kind of seemed to create a little bit of friction with Wendell. It's always competitive, especially with the female put in, because uh, all the guys want the female's attention at the same time. It's like, I'm the stud here. Focus on me, focus on me. One, two, and... Nelson's focus on the lady. One, two, and... My name is Nelson. I'm um, from the Bronx, and I've been modeling for about five years now. And I'm not quite white, but I'm not quite black. I'm stuck in that middle. Being Latino and um, in the modeling business, it's just as difficult as being, you know, African-American. When I first started, I didn't think that I would be where I'm at now. I've done a lot. You know, there's Remy Martin, K. Smith, Levi's. I can't remember. Modeling is very, very difficult. I just got to go hard or just go home. Being a model and meeting so many women, it's like better for you to be single. Women will be there all the time. Oh, you a model? They're going to jump at you. They're going to come over here and try to, like, you know, freak you if you're in a dance floor. They're going to try to, like, seduce you. And if you take the bait, then you take the bait. Well, my girlfriend, Shirley, uh, we've been together for about, you know, close to a year. But I will party like a rock star, like Monday through Thursday, all night, all day. I would go to work straight from the club. I'd leave at 4, get something to eat at 5, try to, like, rest up for about an hour. It was something that was kind of crazy at first for me, but after a while, I kind of got used to it. <laughs> Perfect. Nelson, uh, I feel like he's just like he's got a great look, but he hasn't really brought it to the set. It's kind of like trying to pull to get something from him. Nelson was kind of uh, slacking in the back today. He really has to show up and let his presence be known. When you're casting, just from looking at photos, you kind of always size people up. You know, like, for example, Sal Yu. At first, when I saw him, I thought he looked a little too young for our demographic, but 
once he was on set, you know, I realized like how mature he actually is and he actually came across really well. In the cinema room, I didn't want to stop shooting Salyu. He was just, he was excellent. My name is Salyu Ujalo. I'm 19. I was born in Sierra Leone and I grew up in Guinea. I came to New York six years ago. I started modeling like a year ago. My parents wanted me to stay in school because I think that's one of the main reasons they brought me to America to have a better future. But before I graduated high school, like I decided to be a model. They look at it as being like rude or disrespectful to them. Being Muslim, like you're not supposed to be modeling, you're not supposed to be smoking, you're not supposed to be drinking. You're not supposed to do like a lot of stuff. My dad wanted to take my portfolio away from me. If you go out to the city, you better not come back. I had a job, came back home like 10 o'clock, and he started throwing shoes at me, he charging to me, and then we had a rumble a little bit. I put my clothes, like a shirt, a jacket, my pants. I took my portfolio on my back, so ever since that day, I left. $300 in my pockets. I didn't have nowhere to go. I got on the train, I kept riding on the trains back and forth, back and forth, till like the morning. It's been nine months since me and my dad haven't spoken. I talk to my mom. I go visit my mom sometimes. She just like saying the same thing that everybody else is saying, come home, talk to your dad, go back to school, and stop modeling. My dream is to be successful. You can't be trying to be Wendell Lissamore, or the handsome shooting shoot with your little pouty lips. You can't do that in a situation where you're supposed to be the Rat Pack. I was really looking forward to working with Wendell. I've actually been wanting to work with him for a long time, but I've actually, you know, been a little bit disappointed today in kind of his energy level and what he's bringing. You gotta be in this to win it. Win it. Let's go. Can't have you looking upset on me. Whoever's giving me the best amount of energy is who I'm mainly gonna focus on. I think he's one that really likes a lot of attention. He w wants to be the main event all the time. Wendell can't respond to anything. He doesn't say anything. He doesn't do anything. He was like a damn mannequin. Can't you just snap out your shell? I'm sorry, he's the top male model of the world. What am I thinking? Don't. Me, I'm mainly used to shooting like one, one guy stories. You know, 16 pages cover, you know, 10 pages cover. You know, so when I mainly shoot, it's mainly be me by myself. You can't be trying to be Wendell with some more the handsome. Shoot, a, shoot with your little pouty lips. You can't do that in a situation where you're supposed to be the Rat Pack. I would just say jealousy. The stuff that I do, he's never done. I'm over here and you're over there. I didn't mean to show up the top male model of the world, but kind of had to do what I had to do because I'm a vet and that's just what we do. Yeah, that's what you call skill. And go. Perfect. That's good. That's good. Coming forward, Nelson, just give me a lot more energy, and Wendell, you too. I know you guys are freezing, but just bring it for me, okay? All right, Can you do that? I got you. Hold this. One more time, coming through. One, two, and come on, forward. Perfect, nice. Okay, that's it, that's it. This shot right here, I am in love. I'm in love with this shot. Like the lighting, the colors, they all look amazing. Thank the you. Pool table. But this right here, I think, may be my favorite also. That's your favorite I, I shot? I look at the bone structure, the way the light hits his face, everything. More so than this one? I love this photo, but I just wish Nelson would have brought it. I guess I'm just trying to figure out like who is gonna be kind of the one to profile, like the one who's really gonna come to it. I kind of, I thought in my mind initially it was Wendell. Right. Um, but after today, I'm kind of... Today, I really felt Salyu was the leader of the pack. Mm, I don't think so. I feel like it's Ibrahim. I just think his personality, it just really strong. I felt like it really came through, like 
no, he kind of dominated. Not taking anything away from him. I thought he was great, but Salyu just had that energy. And when we shot today, it was just like I could not stop. I, I did not want to put the camera down on him. Really? He's very, very strong. I mean, I like him, but I just don't know if I see him as the front runner. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. During dinner, I got a call from Uptown Magazine. They wanted to tell me who was the actual winner of the shoot. Right. So how was the shoot today, guys? <laughs> The shoot was good. good. Yeah. The shoot was good, yeah. I liked the, the shoot suits dope. and everything. The clothes was crazy. The photographer, I mean, he looked like, and he was shooting with real nah, films, he saw, so. Yeah, he yeah. shot with the, the cinematic look. It was yeah. hot, man, from black and white. Sick. Thank you, yo. <laughs> hey, look. Hello? <laughs> yo, what's up? Oh, great, 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 great news. During dinner, I got a call from Uptown Magazine. They wanted to tell me who was the actual winner of the shoot. I'll get to see you outside, all right? Get your coats. That's what I saw for a Yeah, so um, we're having a great time, having dinner, have a couple drinks and some laughs. And Dave pulls me and Sally you out to talk in private. I'm not really sure about what. I just brought you guys out here because I wanted to, um, first of all, you guys did a good job today. Both of you guys did amazing on set. You did amazing on How do you know? Ah, well, I just got a call from Uptown. And Uptown, first of all, the photographer really, really loved you, man. I was feeling you. Right. Loved you, but they thought you were too young. You know, Uptown is a very upscale. It caters to the more mature, sophisticated black man. So we kind of want to congratulate you both. But back to what we talked about earlier, there was going to be one leader of the pack, somebody that's going to really stand out and lead the whole shoot. Today, Eve, I think you, 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 you get out of here. You stepped you up to the plate, man. Yeah, you were spot on. I mean, the energy, your charisma, your the way how you came across in the lens. You kind of got that today, man. Uh oh. So yeah. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta, no, I gotta no, get it. But you know, don't we? Nah, nah, he did amazing. Oh, he, I feel really happy for Ibrahim to win. He deserved it, you know? So let's go back in and celebrate, guys. Go ahead. Right, man. Good job. Amazing. He tells me that I'm like the guy that, that reigns supreme on the set today. So I guess, you know, I'm supposed to take that in stride and be like, hey, you know, but you know, I've been doing this for 10 years. Sally, you got a little yo, announcement. Yo, yo. Sally, yo. I got some wise words for you wise people. You know what I mean? Okay. Can everybody be quiet. We want to hear the youth speak. Yeah, let me <laughs> I think we need some hearing aids for the old man. <laughs> <laughs> and a microphone. Um, today I found out uh, the shoot we did earlier. Everybody did an amazing job, Yo. including myself, you, uh, Eve, you Nelson, Ibrahim. <laughs> <laughs> like, y'all did an amazing job. I heard um, that Ibrahim, the old dude, <laughs> beat me <laughs> for being the front, um, front man, man of the huh? magazine. He's 40, I'm 20, he beat me, so. Yeah. It's 20. I, I'm not gonna cry because. 20 years difference, so I let it slide. So let's congratulate him for winning the What's title. Like oh, oh, man. Hey, hey, hey. She ain't even told. Now you can do one of those speech. Yeah, I got a speech. All right, well, I guess I gotta say yeah. something too. All you guys are super dope models, man. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just blessed to be even working with you guys. And if I did anything that's special today, that's that's off the strength of you guys. I've been working off of y'all energy. And there it is. Throw your drink up, please. I think I think that is good that Ibrahim got selected. You know, that was the demographic that they were going. Uptown magazine is a more elderly and older, you know, more mature magazine, you know, so they chose him for that and that was cool. I am older, not that much older. A lot of just try to act like as if I'm so old, but I'm not. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like just a couple of years older than Wendell, for instance. What it comes down to is charisma and talent. Listen, guys, I'm, I'm extremely proud of all of y'all. Yeah, From seeing the shoot, going in, seeing all you guys on set today, and working together the way you did, that's remarkable. I can't wait for this to come out. Yeah, I want to see it. February is going to come out. It's going to hit the magazines and tear sheets. Wait, February is Ibrahim's going to be 50. <laughs> <laughs> This is just another day in the life of a red model. They come out to shoots, the models have to step it up. They represent red, they represent themselves, and the beat goes on. 
Toaster right, Sally right, Jalo. Yeah. Red. 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 Toaster Red. 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 Come on, guys. for you guys the magazine ultimately a look for 